Hey, San Randolph here in Kauai, letting you know about Happy Cock Church this past weekend. We celebrated Mother's Day. And the stories that were shared were so beautiful and so inspiring. I just gotta share two of them with you. They were written in three minutes, just three minutes, and these beautiful one minute shares written in three minutes during church. Church is where we minister to one another through our stories, both the reverent and the irreverent. Take a listen. I've been thinking about my mother a lot today and how odd it is to not have a mother to call to wish Happy Mother's Day to. It's also hard to believe that just a hundred days ago or so have gone by since she took her last breath, a breath I will remember for the rest of my life because I was there with her for it. I've been reflecting on how our relationship, maybe it could have been better while she was living instead of just when she was dying, but I'm not really sure it ever could have been any different than it just was. I do wish that I'd taken some time on my visits to her, especially those when she was living in Kentucky, to talk to her about things, all the photos that were downstairs in her basement closet, and now are in a plastic Tupperware sitting here on my love seat. So many things we learned or suspected after it was too late to ask, but mostly the part at the end, the part my mother asked me to remember, as the dark of midnight took over the room, and in the darkness she looked at me and said, twirling her finger in the air so slowly, as if that action would propel the words she needed to come out straight and true. She said, Susan, I told this to Andrew yesterday, but I want you to tell everyone, let's remember this part, this part now, this is the part to remember. So today on Mother's Day, I'm remembering that part, the part at the end when she was finally able to lay down her shield and just let love in and let love out. When she died, I felt loved by my mother, and that hadn't been the case for the 62 years up until those 10 days, but it was a good feeling to have in those last days of hers. Her last words to me were, Susan, please, please tell everyone I love them. And so today I'm going to tell you all that Joan Marie Barber loves you. I love her so much, but I never tell her. We do not say these words easily in German. Ich liebe dich. I can't remember I ever heard them from her. I am so sad. I called and no one picked up the phone. I am so worried what happened. They are at home normally at that time, dark in Germany while I'm still in my pajamas. Nobody picked up the phone. I hope they were just lazy. I am so sad. Will I be able to see her and hug her, feel those bony hands on my thighs, see that lost look she has now on her face, sing one more song with her, one of those songs sung by sailors she used to play on her red Hona accordion without ever learning to read notes, before she was too weak to pick up that accordion, before all the notes dropped into a puddle at her feet, before she could only whisper the song. <laughs> 